So I'm Jan Lammerding. I'm a professor in the Weil Institute for Cell and Molecular Biology and the Department of Biomedical Engineering at Cornell University. And we've been working on progeria for about 10 years now. And the Progeria Research Foundation workshops are really always one of the highlights for our students. It's one of the rare opportunities for students, postdocs, and researchers to interact directly with the families, with the patients, and really see what we look at normally in a petri dish is to see how that actually relates to real life and how we can help these patients. And it's also nice to see the enthusiasm by the patients, by the family, for the work that we do. What we are particularly interested in in my group is to look at the biomechanical aspects of how the structure of the cell relates to its function and then how progerin, so it's caused by mutations in the nuclear envelope protein lamins, causes the disease. We know the mutations, we know that due to defective processing of lamins, progerin is made the mutant form of the protein, but we don't know yet how this mutant protein then actually causes the disease. There's many different ideas behind it. There's still a lot of questions that we and other researchers are trying to answer. In particular, we are investigating whether the dramatic vascular phenotypes in these children that cause heart attacks and strokes in these patients, whether they could be due, to, at least in part, to cells being more sensitive to mechanical stress. What we've seen in recent years, supported by work from uh, by funding from the Progeria Research Foundation, is that cells from progeria patients and from mouse models of the disease are more sensitive to mechanical stress. So if we subject them to mechanical stress, similar to what cells in blood vessels would experience, more of the progeria cells die compared to cells from healthy control pa from healthy controls. And we've now done work where we've seen both in vitro clearly that these cells are more sensitive to mechanical stress. They do not turn on protective genes that normal cells turn on. They're more likely to die. And right now we're very interested in testing that in mouse models of the disease, where we use surgical tools to increase the blood pressure in some section of blood vessels and trying to see if that accelerates the disease progression.